this time on Motion Mondays, Axis Homing. Homing is a critical step in setting up and using an axis. The goal of homing is to provide a single repeatable position to start from and to reference all other moves too. If the home position varies for any reason, so do all moves referenced to this home position. To start, we will set up an input on the drive. In this case, we have set up input 3 as our home switch. And since it is a syncing input, we will pull up to 5 volts and set the switch to active low. We then test the input to ensure the drive sees it when it comes on. Now that the input is configured, we can begin to set up several homing sequences. The first is the simplest, but usually the least repeatable, homing to a hard stop. Here, we simply set up the homing direction, speed, acceleration, and the current limit. The downside of this method is that if the axis jams for any reason during homing, the jam will be considered the home position. Also, if the hard stop is soft, like a rubber bumper, the repeatability of the home position may suffer. We now simply trigger a home move. We can also apply a home offset, which sets the zero position slightly off of the hard stop. This is commonly done to tweak the exact position of home. A more repeatable homing method is to use the index pulse of the servo. By doing this, the home position will be repeatable within one encoder count of the motor. However, the downside of this method is that we are only homing to the nearest full turn. We can see this problem if we jog the motor several turns from our last home position. In this case, we home to the nearest index pulse, but not at the same position as before. For this reason, we now set up the third method of homing, which is a combination of the home switch and the index pulse. This gives us the repeatability of the index pulse, but we only use the index pulse nearest the home switch, so we always home to the same turn of the servo motor. Finally, we add a home offset. And now the home cycle setup is complete and highly repeatable. Now we can set up the drive, tune the axis set inputs, and home. In future videos, we'll look at several real world applications and how they would be configured. Until next time, thanks for watching.